Hello every bot stallions, Handsome Jack Boy here, bringing you guys a very special video on how to get behind the bank in the Abandoned Badlands Custom DLC. Now this DLC is a freaking beast, guys. Um, I've said that many times before, I think, in uh, previous videos, because it's very true. This DLC is amazing, at least in my opinion. But anyway, right now I'm showing you guys how to get to the bank, because some of you guys might not know how to. Uh, and while I'm going over there, I just... I want to say that this is not a glitch or anything. This is actually Easter egg that I figured out myself um, because I've been playing this DLC quite a bit, and I figured out this deal, this little uh, Easter egg my, myself. It's not a glitch or anything, so it's actually part of the DLC. And right here's the bank. By the way, guys, this is the bank, and um, yeah, there is a way you can get behind the counter right here and get to those awesome chests. Okay, and open them. It's it's really awesome, guys. But anyway, what you want to do? Okay, what you want to do to uh, get this easter egg started is you want to go kill some custom bosses. What I recommend doing is killing all the custom bosses, but you can kill as many custom bosses as you want. I just I just recommend killing them all, but just go out and kill some custom bosses, okay, and then return to the bank. Now, you should hear, you should hear a claptrap saying, hey, over here, okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to go down to the entrance of the bank. You want to go check that. You don't want to go in the bank or anything and check it. But down in the entrance of the bank, you should see a claptrap. Right here, I'm actually above the bank, and I'm hearing the claptrap saying, Hey, over here. If you hear that, then he's there. But Because you can hear that it, kind of far away because he's kind of loud. <laughs> you know, claptrap's pretty loud, and you can hear that. Probably pretty far away, so that you know that kind of gives it gives it away that that claptrap's there. But basically, what you want to do is the claptrap is there. Um, you want to talk to him and you want to follow him. He basically takes you inside the bank and he kind of has some nav glitches. He kind of runs into the wall here and backs up. It's really weird, guys. <laughs> but anyway, once he stops getting out of that weird AI glitch, uh, you want to follow him and he'll basically open up this switch over here that basically opens up the fences around the bank and brings out these little stairs and that basically allows you to get behind the bank get behind the counter there and open up all those chests look at this guys look at this so beast am i right so beast okay beast <laughs> and you can open up all these chests back here but what really sucks about this though is you can't open up all the little cabinets and the little lockers that really does suck that's one problem about this little easter egg you can't open up the little cabinets i don't know why but you can't it, you know you could probably get a lot of money off of that but it, that it, you know it kind of sucks but anyway yeah it's really beastly guys there's not very many chests well yeah there's there's quite a bit of chests but there's still i don't know it's just it's worth it. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. And right here, I get a, I get one of the custom guns. But yeah, this is definitely worth it. I'm just saying, though, this is, you know, you know I'd ri just, I'd rather have you guys go farm, you know, the Crimson Armory of the, over this. But I just wanted to, you know, put this out there, let you guys know about this cool little Easter egg. It's really cool. You know, I really want to do a video on this for you guys. And the way to get up to those chests right up there is you got a grenade jump. You want to unequip your grenade mod, and you just want to, you know, grenade jump yourself right here and stuff but uh and kind of duck jump you want to kind of duck jump it's kind of hard to get up there take some practice practice but uh yeah i kind of hope i explained this guys um sorry if the commentary was a little rushed um yeah this is kind of one of the first this is the first tutorial video on this little dlc so and by the way guys you want to stand on this little railing right here when you're going to open these chests it just makes it easier because you don't you can get stuck on the chest if you go down if you stand on the chest you can get stuck on them and it happened to me, so and you can just, you know, if you stand on the railing, it's really easy, and you can just fall off with ease. But anyway, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm sorry if the commentary was a little rushed. You, What you want to do is you just want to kill some custom bosses. I don't care how many you can kill one custom boss, and you can go back here and check. But, you know, you want to check for the claptrap, okay? I'm not sure if killing custom bosses has anything to do with the claptrap appearing. This is just my, you know, I'm going off what I think is how, what I think, you know. On how to you know get this Easter egg to work and stuff on how to get the claptrap to spawn you know this is just my information there's no wiki to read off of or anything like that so yeah I mean 
you can, for example, this time around I killed, just killed one custom boss, which was Mega Steve, and I came back here and the Claptrap was there. And the last time I did it, I killed all the custom bosses and I had, I came back here and he was there. So, yeah, I guess it's random each and every time, but that's basically how you do it, guys. Um, and really quick before I get out of here, there is this little thing I kind of wanted to show you guys, this little other thing that might be, might be something of interest, um, there's this little like kind of garage thing under a uh, little scooter's place and I was thinking there might be a way to open it you know it's basically like I said right below scooter's place right below the catch a ride um, and you know there's some bridge trolls down there I already killed them but I was thinking you know you can get inside that little uh, little garage somehow I don't know I've just been thinking that ever since I started this DLC there might be a way and stuff and there is an arrow over there pointing down over in Scooter's place over there if you guys can see that but anyway uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm out of here PEACE!